Hi everybody, the channel Easy Lecture welcomes you. In this video, we are going to discuss what is meant by open loop configuration of operational amplifier and why do we go for closed loop configuration. These are the things we are going to discuss in this video. Before entering into the video, subscribe my channel Easy Lecture. Now go, let us go for the discussion. This figure shows the operational amplifier in open loop mode. In open loop configuration, an operational amplifier, it amplifies the difference between uh, the two voltages, uh, two input voltages and gives as the output. So here, the two input voltages are V1, which is given to non-inverting terminal and V2, which is fed to the inverting terminal of operational amplifier. And the difference between these two voltages is VD, which is amplified and the output is V0. Here, the operational amplifier, the gain is very high. Since the gain is very high, the output voltage, instead of being in linear mode, it enters into saturation point. It reaches the saturation point quickly. Okay. So here, this is negative saturation voltage. This is positive saturation voltage. If V1 is greater than V2, that is non-inverting voltage is greater than inverting voltage, then V0 becomes positive saturated. And in another case, if V2 is greater than V1, that is the voltage in non-inverting terminal is greater than the voltage in inverting terminal, then V0 is negatively saturated. Okay, it enters into negative saturation, uh, negatively saturated point. Due to this, what happens, the operational amplifier, it doesn't operate in its linear mode. It enters into saturation mode quickly. And due to this, the application in which the operational amplifier can be used is highly limited. In order to get high usage, high utility from operational amplifier, it should be used in a lot of applications. And to do this, we need to reduce the gain, reduce the gain of operational amplifier. Because the reason for entering, uh, reason for the operational amplifier to enter into saturation mode is its high gain. This high gain should be controlled. How can we control this high gain of operational amplifier? We can give a feedback to the input in to the inverting terminal. Okay, so this is how we can control the gain. This figure shows how uh, there is, how a feedback is established in operational amplifier. This is the output voltage and a feedback path is taken from the output voltage and given to the inverting terminal along with this input voltage. The uh, feedback is established through this resistor feedback resistor so what happens this feedback resistor and this feedback path it controls the high gain of operational amplifier when this operational amplifier the gain of operational amplifier is highly controlled uh, uh, highly controlled the way by which the um, uh, reason the causes for which the operational amplifier is entering to saturation region is wider and it will be in its linear region for most of the time and for most of the cases. And due to this, the application of operational amplifier is greatly increased. It can be used in a lot of circuits. It can be used for a lot of applications. And this is the reason why we go for closed loop configuration and why we use operational amplifier in closed loop configuration instead of open loop configuration and why there is a feedback network, feedback path in uh, operational amplifier. I hope this video would help you in understanding the difference between closed loop configuration and open loop configuration and why this operational amplifier is used in closed loop configuration and why there is a feedback path in closed loop configuration. Meet you again in another video. Subscribe my channel Easy Lecture. Thank you. Bye.